Good afternoon, guys. All right, Wrangler back with you, and we've got another addition to the How Stupid is Joshua Peter Lanto from Broken System, Broken Trust. Well, today he's going to go play around in a Walmart parking lot, see a cop, and he's going to go act stupid. I guess he was at Walmart because it's that time of the month, and I guess his food stamp card got reloaded. Anyway, enjoy, guys. <laughs> Walmart, White Lake, Michigan. I don't know why we park right here. But... At least he waved. Could be a Walmart, I guess? Yeah, sure is. Do they have you like stationed up here or something? Yep. Wow. Is, uh, I'm guessing it has to do with maybe an increase in uh, uh, theft. Or maybe it's because there's a burned out bath salted criminal who likes to stalk and harass police officers, his sister, women. He likes to choke women. Maybe that's why they have an increased presence because of, well, scumbags like you, Joshy. Uh, not really. No? Oh. Mind explaining? Nope. Can't get into it. Can't get into it. No? Huh. Never seen. Oh, I'm just asking you what's going on. I've never seen it. So, you live yeah. here in White Lake? What's that? Do you live here in White Lake? Well, I mean, I live in the area. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, how, how long do you, uh, how long do they say to sit here? So you're going to be here all 12 hours? Yep. Wow. 12 hour shift. I'm not for sure how it came down the bike. They just messaged me and asked me if I'd do it. I said, yeah, sure. Huh. Yeah, we're live on YouTube right now. Nice. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> oh, you seem a little cooler and a little more chill than some of the white light cops, but. Huh. That's interesting. Well, let me ask you a question since you're just sitting here. Um. What would you do if somebody asked you to trespass somebody else from a public place if they haven't committed a crime? What would you do? You can't trespass somebody unless there's a reason to? Okay. Joshy, are you too dumb to know when an officer is just placating you, hoping that you'll finally just shut up and go away and stop fouling up the air? So what would you do if you were ordered to trespass somebody from a public place? What if somebody told you to trespass somebody from a public place? Like, let's say Chief well, Keller calls you and well, says... Well, it, like I said, there has to be a legitimate reason to. You know what I mean? Has to be a legitimate yeah, reason. Yeah, they're not going to order somebody to do it unless there's a reason. Hmm. Like if you were here and you uh, went in with harassing somebody, for okay. sure, then... Uh, the Walmart management can say, hey, we want to trespass. They've been in here harassing. They have to show us proof. Once we get proof, then we can trespass. Right. So you kind of look into it. Of course. Okay. What if in this situation it was like a public park or a public place? You, you, you still would have to give a reason. You know what I mean? You still have to have a reason for us to trespass. We just can't say, okay, we don't want to. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? I ask all these cops th uh, the same question. You don't have to answer it if you don't want to. Do you know the five aspects of the First Amendment? Do you know the aspects of paying child support and not stalking your family? Do you know how to not choke out women? All right. Yeah, what, what I'm doing right now is uh, just First Amendment protected activity. Yep. And so a lot of times, well, especially now, if I just sit somewhere, I'll just go up to them, approach them, you know, try to engage in a conversation just to you know, do a couple things, flex my rights, number one, and then second, maybe have a conversation. Right. You know what I mean? You seem to know a little bit about the law since you know that if you ask somebody to leave a public place, you have to have a valid reason right. to do that, yep. right? Would you consider that a violation of your oath if you actually did that? What, as in, what do you mean? Told somebody to leave a public place w without there being a valid reason. Well, I wouldn't ask them to. Okay. Like I told you, we'd have to have a reason have to have a reason. What if somebody said uh, the other person made them feel uncomfortable? It depends on the situation. 
like if it's two people just out uh, doing shopping. For what if it's a burned out deadbeat father who's stalking his sister and putting her on YouTube without her consent because she's a better parent than he is and raises his daughter that he doesn't pay for? We would like them trespassing. Okay. Well, what if it was a case where the person who was asking to have somebody else trespassed, they said they just, they didn't want them there and they made them feel uncomfortable. You gotta have a reason. Like I told you before, yeah. you, just, you gotta have a reason. So, and then what if you were like, okay, well, what, what if it was like um, a guy who had a kid with a, a girl and, you know, in an ex or something like that? One of them wanted to attend a school function and wanted to prevent the other one from doing it. Oh, you mean when you were trespassed from the school that your daughter goes to because you had no lawful business there because you don't have custody of that daughter and you're not allowed at that school? Is that what you're talking about? You know, when you were stalking your sister from the weeds like a crackhead? Do you get what I'm saying? So like the mom takes... Man, right, but, right, right. But no, just because someone don't like somebody or don't want someone there, you can trespass. Right. So just because somebody doesn't like them or doesn't want them there doesn't mean you can't trespass. You would do your due diligence and maybe check to see if there was a PPO or something like that. Okay, let's... If the school had an issue, bond order in place where, hey, you cannot be around this person, then you have a legitimate reason. That would make sense. But if you don't have that in place, you can't. Yeah, if you don't have that in place, you can't. Right. Hmm. So... Have you ever have you ever caught a fellow officer of yours like violating their oath or you know, no? Nope, not in my career. Well, if you did see that, what would you do about it? Get him a supervisor. And what if the supervisor told you, well, no, we don't do that. You know, we we protect our own. We're a family here. I've never heard of that happening. Never heard of that happening. Nope. Would you arrest an officer? If, if it needed to be, yes. If they committed a crime, they're they're no different than you. Do you know what Section 241 and Section 242 Title 18 are? No. Section 241 is conspiracy to deprive people of rights. It's a, I believe it's a federal statute or a federal code. I'm not sure. You're right. They are federal codes. And you're not sure of a lot of things because you're a moron. But, yes, they are federal codes. They are federal statutes. They're civil. In other words, it's not criminal. You bloody moron. If it's a code or a statute. Don't hold me to that. The Section 241 is conspiracy to violate somebody's rights. Section 242 is deprivation of rights under color of law. It's a, uh, it's written in the federal code, right? Yeah. And basically, who do you think that law applies to? Everything. Well, deprivation of rights under color of law. That I have no idea. It applies to cops. Right. Were you, were you aware of that federal statute? No. You've never heard of it? No. Oh. Do, you, do you know it's considered a felony, actually? No, it's not. It's civil. In other words, if you want to punish an officer for what you claim is a violation of Section 242 under federal law, it would have to be a civil tort, you bloody crack baby. It's not criminal, so it's not a felony. Swing and a miss. Pretty crazy. Do you know what the Do you know what the penalty is for it? Would you be surprised if I told you it was the death penalty? The death penalty. So you really are on the crack pipe. Really? You can look it up. Deprivation of rights under color of law. Conspiracy to deprive somebody of their rights. Right. So now going back to my ori original questioning. What if there was a group of people, like three, four of them, conspiring? To deprive somebody of their rights. So say that again. Let's say there are three or four people all talking to each other, right? Like in this uh, in this example, it'll be they don't want somebody at a public place, so they conspire to violate his rights. So they, there's three or four of them that get together, they talk amongst each other, and then they decide, well, chirp, we're still going to violate the guy's rights. We're just public. Well, I mean, the, the 241, 242 would only apply to officers because they're the only ones under law. Correct. Yeah. So then they, they are breaking the law at that point. They are breaking the law at that point. Yep. Now, I'm not going to go calling for anybody to be hung from the gallows. Joshy, you are aware 
the, the only capital crimes in our country are murder and kidnapping. You're aware of this, right? Uh, conspiracy to deprive a failure ass YouTuber, deadbeat dad, bath salt lover uh, of filming is not a capital crime, you moron. You know what I mean? We all make mistakes. Right. I'm sure you run into people every day that, you know, make honest mistakes or maybe just a pattern of making repeated mistakes. Yep. Right? So I think the goal is just to encourage them to maybe break that pattern or not make that mistake again, right? No need to hang somebody from a gallows unless we're making an example out of them, right? Unless right. maybe maybe it's a crazy lieutenant who said that that's not going to happen. Oh, can we, I got somebody we can hang from the gallows. How about a deadbeat dad who thinks it's perfectly acceptable to beat up and strangle his wife? I'm trying to think of how I can phrase this properly. Um, what do you feel is your most important responsibility? Safety. Safety of others. Safety and safety of others. Okay. Well, I do have some places to get going. So uh, I just wanted to ask you a few of those questions real quick. What was your name one more time? Frank. 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 Nice to meet you. Nice Josh. to meet you. And your badge number? 102. 102? Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate you being polite. You're welcome. Yeah. Have fun on your 12 hours. Enjoy the rest. Yeah. I might see you back here. All right. All right, guys. That was, uh, that was something, huh? All right. Well. Uh, let me read you real quick. See you here. Yeah, yeah. What's up, people? Appreciate you being in here. Uh, let's see. Mikey B, I can barely read. All right. There you go, guys. That's Joshy harassing another officer instead of, I don't know, maybe getting a real job or supporting his kids or being a grown up because he's almost 50 years old and his greatest claim to anything in the last five years has been he was fired from Wendy's, probably by a 17 year old. Anyway, guys, it's Wrangler. I'm out of here. I love y'all. Have a good. Thank you.